What is up YouTube? Today we are replacing the steering box on the Land Rover. I know it's been a long time since I've had a video, but there's just a lot of things going on. Anyways, the old steering box is leaking like a sieve. It is dropping all the fluid out of it. There's probably no more fluid left in it. So we're going to go ahead and take the old one out and put in this brand new one. We also did get a rebuild kit so we can rebuild the old one and have a backup for next time. But it'll be nice to have this brand new one. So let's get to it. The new steering box is a piece of art. The old one just for some reason just gave up and all of a sudden just started spewing out a bunch of oil as you can see right here. So definitely the hardest part of this steering box is taking this nut off and then also popping off this um, steering right here. And that's going to be the hardest part. So bringing it off of this, taking the nut off, and then popping it off is definitely going to be the hardest part. Right now I got the nut off, so that's halfway through. And hopefully we can just slide this guy off, but I'm sure it's not going to happen. All right, so probably the biggest or hardest part, in my opinion, is pulling off this little coupling right here. Spent probably about three hours doing it. Um, I used the uh, hammers, you know, all sorts of stuff and I couldn't get it to pop off um, heated it up even used freeze off just couldn't get it off so what I ended up having to do is build in my own custom tool I know it's ugly haven't even cleaned it up or anything but basically I have two pieces of wood here or two pieces of metal and you can see it slowly kind of spreads out so it's like an A shape and it goes around the coupling right here and it actually just, so I pressed it down here, hammered it like crazy. I mean, it really was on there and it finally popped off, but just a little bit of spread right there, pushed it off and now we're free to work on the rest of it. We're gonna pull off the bolts right here and then loosen the bolts up here to get the steering column out. And we drop the whole steering box through the front driver's side wheel well. We've got the old one out. You can see it's still leaking oil. So this thing is a big giant mess. I'm glad we just have a brand new one. You can see up here, brand new one is installed. We got to put the cover back on, tighten up all of the frame bolts, get it all tight, and it should be fitting real well. But if you come up top here, you can see everything fits up real nice with the bracket. These shims up here were extremely difficult to put on. Um, the alignment was actually kind of fun. We had it at full driver on the steering wheel and made sure the, um, the steering box was locked out and the actual steering was locked out. And then we connected it, made sure it worked good, and then uh, put it on the spline. So that was kind of fun. Coming inside here, you see we have a giant mess of wires going everywhere. So this will be fun to uh, get organized again and put back together. But we're getting pretty close, probably about an hour and a half worth more of work to put it back and button it back up. But we're, we are super close. Thank you, YouTube, for watching. I really appreciate it. We really enjoyed installing this new steering box. I kind of feel like it's a Porsche now, which is really exciting. Please subscribe. Please hit that like button, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.